Hey friends, it's Mel. Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to my contribution to Fall Food Fridays with Fallon from Moss Family TV. I appreciate her hosting these every year where we can all come and find lots of yummy fall recipes all in one place. You know I like my food to be delicious but quick and easy and these two little desserts are perfect for weeknights. They're made of simple ingredients that you're probably going to have on hand especially in the fall and you can throw them together in no time. The first one is a pumpkin chocolate chip muffin. This is made from just a store-bought cake mix, can of pumpkin, and some chocolate chips. What I like to use is a spice cake because I do think those flavors are wonderful in this recipe. You could use a chocolate cake, a yellow cake, or a butter cake, anything you'd like. All I had was the big, I believe it's 28 ounce can of pumpkin, and this calls for a small 15 ounce can, so I'm just using half of this can of pumpkin and I'll save the other half for something else. The hardest part of this recipe is getting these two ingredients combined because there is no oil, no melted butter, no eggs, anything like that. So getting all of the cake mix incorporated is the hardest part. And then I'm using the miniature chocolate chips. I think that they hold up well in this little muffin recipe. And if you start with a little bit of pumpkin and then add about half of your cake mix and then go back and put in the rest of your pumpkin and cake mix, it does incorporate a lot better. I made two runs of these this day. I remember that the second time through. And you're going to bake these at 325 degrees and you will see here check them very well because they are a denser muffin you really do have to cook them just a little bit longer sometimes mine took about 24 or 26 minutes but you could see when I pulled the toothpick out of that second one they were not done and that was probably at 20 minutes so I put them back in and cooked them about four or six more minutes and checked a number of them this second time around and they were perfect. You don't have to put chocolate chips in them. They're wonderful without them, but I like to keep them on hand in the fall just for this purpose because I think they just give it a little extra sweetness on top of that savory pumpkin. This is probably the first thing I make as soon as fall comes around. This is my favorite because it is so quick and easy and delicious. I was honored to make muffins along with some other ladies from my church to take to Isaiah 117 house for their caseworker appreciation week. Isaiah 117 house provides physical and emotional support in a safe and loving home for children who are awaiting foster care placement. So if you're interested in finding out more about Isaiah 117 House and how you can help, be sure and check my description box below. The next recipe I'm making is a pumpkin pie cream cheese crescent. It is very delicious and very easy. And I'm actually halving this recipe. So I just started with two ounces of softened cream cheese and I'm using half of a can of pumpkin, just the 15 ounce can. So that was probably about seven ounces, seven and a half. And then into that, I'm putting a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice and two tablespoons of sugar. And then you're gonna mix that until it's nice and fluffy with your hand mixer. Here's a little trick to get your beaters clean. When you're almost done, turn it down as low it'll go, as it will go and let it beat on the side of your bowl and that will come right clean. 
another little bowl, I'm going to put two tablespoons of sugar and another tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice and mix that together. And that's what we'll roll our little crescents in before we bake them up. So I'm just taking one can of crescent rolls. You just spoon that pumpkin mixture inside of your crescent and roll it up. Of course, if you've been around here on my channel before, you know that I'm a notorious for overstuffing anything. But I'm not sorry that I did. This turned out great. I used just about every drop of this mixture because I hated for it to go to waste, so I stuffed mine really full and they turned out great. You see when I roll them up, I'll take the little ends that are hanging out and kind of pull them up around the sides and that helps hold it in a little bit. Honestly, it's okay if a little bit of that comes out when they're baking. And I will link the Facebook page where I found this recipe. I honestly don't remember if I found it this year or another year, but this is something that I had just screenshotted and I've had it in my phone. The Facebook page is called Home at Stone Manor. I could not find the original post. Um, you can kind of follow along here. I don't want to type this recipe out because it's not mine. But you can kind of see what I've done here. Very simple. After you have your crescents rolled up, you're just going to roll them around in that pumpkin pie spice and sugar put them back on your baking sheet then I had a little bit of that sugar left so I decided to top them and then I thought I should probably put them on another baking sheet so all that leftover sprinkled sugar doesn't bake on to that sheet these you're going to bake them about 13 minutes, 13 to 15. Mine were ready in 13 minutes at 375 degrees. These smelled so wonderful. Look at that beautiful pumpkin pie filling oozing out the ends and this pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon on top gives it just a wonderful little texture. And do be careful and don't overbake these you want to make sure your crescents are done they will tend to stick maybe just a little bit it didn't tear them up or affect them by any means but do just be aware of that if you coat the bottom with that sugar mixture it might stick on you You cannot see the cream cheese once you've beat it into that pumpkin, but you can certainly taste. Even though that was just two ounces of cream cheese mixed into that pumpkin, this tastes like the most wonderful bakery Danish filling. These are two very simple treats you can make for your family right along with dinner just to make a special fall treat for your family or yourself. I appreciate you watching as always. I hope that you have a wonderful fall season and until I see you next time, I send you love from my kitchen.